now to the immense impact the pandemic is having on Hispanic owned businesses around the country of the 4.7 million Hispanic owned businesses in America. Only half have relationships with a bank, making it exceptionally hard to stay afloat during these times. They're here to tell us more about it is the president and CEO of the United States Hispanic Commerce uh, Chamber of Commerce, Romero Cavados. Sir, thank you so much for being here with us. Tell us just how bad has the pandemic been on Hispanic owned businesses? Well, the small business environment was challenging already prior to COVID. And since COVID, clearly one out of every three of our 4.7 million Hispanic owned businesses in America have been affected by closures or temporary closures. So impact has been uh, very, very strong. These businesses are small, they're vulnerable. So they were vulnerable because they were uh, smaller mom and pops on the front lines already providing direct services and with the self-imposed recession uh, to prevent the transmission of COVID, it affected even more of our Hispanic-owned businesses in America. Now, so what are you and the chamber doing to try and remedy the situation and make it better for these small business owners? Well, it's very clear that our efforts have been all in uh, using our digital platform, English and Spanish uh, resource guides to provide resources to our small businesses. Many of them were left out through the Paycheck Protection Program. Uh, estimates are that less than 3% received uh, loans because they did not have a banking relationship and they were at the back of the line when those first uh, rounds came up. The second thing that we're doing in, in addition to directing them to resources for uh, English and Spanish uh, is the capital access now is provided by more than 5,000 SBA certified entities. They're not all banks. Some of them are credit unions. Some of them are, are community banks. Some of them are community development finance corporations. Uh, and, and many corporations have stepped up. And, and sir, you mentioned what the chamber is doing. You mentioned what some banks are doing and maybe what the government is not doing. But collectively, all of us, anybody watching this, what can we all be doing to help out small business? Look, a lot of small businesses are having issues, but his, in particular, Hismetic small businesses. What can we all be doing? Well, it's very important to know that our economy in America, the largest in the world, what is driven by consumer spending. 70% of our economic gross domestic product is driven by purchases that we make with each other as small and medium-sized businesses. It's not what happens in Washington or Austin or Mexico City or Ottawa. It's what happens in our neighborhood. That's rule number one for rebuilding our economy. We know that you have been working tirelessly for the Latinx community. So, Ramiro Cavazos, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you for your support. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.